Thank you very much, Tiana, and uh, a lot of things to think about through the whole morning, but the most amazing thought is uh, we really did beat the clock. We managed to uh, wrap this thing up on time, which is pretty much unheard of at the National Pharmaceutical Congress, but uh, here we are. So um, I guess I, I'd like to just quickly quote uh, the funniest dermatologist in Canada, Dr. Ron Vender, who says anybody who uh, takes the podium just before lunchtime uh, appears to the delegates as a giant talking chicken leg so uh, a good line from, uh, from Ron. Just uh, if you can hang on for a couple of minutes, we'll get you out of here and uh, go into the, uh, the next room for lunch. So thank you all for coming this morning. I know uh, everybody's got uh, far too much to do, and uh, taking the time to uh, attend this meeting, I think, is uh, a very gratifying uh, thing for us, a very humbling thing. Uh, we'd especially like to acknowledge our uh, exhibitors and sponsors. I'll do that. You, you know the names. They're the leaders in uh, life sciences. Alphabetically, it's Ashfield Canada, Bayshore Specialty Healthcare, Chronicle Companies, Impress Pharma, McKesson Canada, Pangea, uh, Peak Pharma Solutions, Shoppers Drug Mart Specialty Health Network, Stanley Park Creative, and uh, Vanguard Pharma. I'd also like to acknowledge our media partners, that's uh, National Post and their series uh, Patient Diaries and the Chronicle of Healthcare Marketing. Uh, special uh, thanks to uh, COPD Canada and uh, CCPE -C, uh, CFCP. Uh, Jim Shea of CCPE came up with a very big idea last year. He said, uh, gee, you know, the, the medalists are the uh, industry leaders of tomorrow. Maybe we should uh, make an effort to bring them to the National Pharma Congress. And we did, and we welcome those uh, medalists. Uh, you'll get another round of acknowledgement uh, when we sit down for lunch. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, great, uh, great having a full room. So right now, we're pretty much at the halfway point of our day. A uh, bunch of things coming up that I'll uh, mention. Um, after we're, do we're done here, there's going to be a reception for the newest inductees into the Canadian Healthcare Marketing Hall of Fame. So we're going to go out into the foyer and uh, have a glass of bubbly and uh, honor those people. Um, in just a few minutes. Uh, there's also a uh, session that continues on after lunch. Uh, I'll point out this form, and uh, it should be part of your uh, registration kit. Uh, if you care to fill that out, there's uh, still time to register for the, uh, for the leadership uh, session. It's uh, going to be really, really good. Uh, and if you fill out the form and you haven't done it yet, take it to the registration desk and uh, they'll look after you. Um, again, it's an opportunity for uh, the, the new talent in the business to uh, learn from the Hall of Fame uh, honorees, which uh, we should take advantage of. And then around 4 o'clock, uh, we're going to invite everyone to uh, um, hang in uh, for the Leaders and Loggers Happy Hour session. Uh, we're going to sample the products of High Park Brewery. Uh, it's a chance to say hello to uh, Dan Billard from uh, High Park Brewery. He'll be uh, talking to the beer snobs in the crowd, and I, I know there's a few of them. Uh, however, we have a couple of housekeeping notes. We'll uh, race through that. Uh, Mr. Knott, come on up. And uh, Chantel and Jonelle from uh, Canadian Dermatology Association, you guys here? If you can join us up here, opposite ends of the room. That's good. Okay, so uh, before, while we're waiting, a uh, quick shout out to our uh, Chronicle team uh, led by Alan Ryan. Uh, it's uh, under the iron fist of uh, Kathy Dussam, I'd like to thank uh, Peggy Ahern, Aaron Brazier, John Evans, uh, Bianca Quinero, AJ Quinero, Christine Widowich, and uh, Corey Perla, who's uh, come up today to help us from our Buffalo office. I guess when Corey crosses the border back, they might ask him if he saw any cannabis presentations while he was at the, uh, at the session. Uh, Corey, I think the correct answer is, uh, what? Canna, canna who? Uh, Anyway, uh, if it comes to that, both of his parents are lawyers, so we're, uh, we're okay with that. Uh, please pay, take note of uh, next year's conference date. It's going to be uh, Wednesday, October the 23rd. Uh, tell, tell Alexa to save the date for you. And uh, let's see. Oh, registration uh, evaluation forms. If you can fill those out, we'd appreciate that too. Uh, stay in touch with us through the year, through the uh, Congress website. It's www dot pharmacongress.info. So over the 12 years that uh, uh, Joe and I and uh, the sponsors and uh, floating, floating group of uh, regulars here have been doing this, 
uh, we've uh, been able to return things to the, uh, to the Canadian uh, healthcare community and uh, to, uh, to the community in general. Once again, we're able to uh, offer a donation this year to uh, a charity we support, that's Camp Liberté, which is a, a children's charity operated in Alberta and Quebec by the Canadian Dermatology Association. So we have something called uh, Sandy's Fund for Camp Liberté in memory of uh, our colleague Sandy Leckie. And uh, we're, we're gonna do something different now. We're gonna uh, present a uh, contribution. Uh, we used to have a giant check, but uh, these days it's Bitcoin. So uh, <laughs> Joe's, Joe's gonna reach into his pocket and pull out his cell phone and we'll do the, uh, the Bitcoin oh, transfer. Car keys. Car keys yeah, car keys will be okay. Or maybe you could just gesture uh, in an appropriate way. Uh, and the funds are gonna be digitally uh, transferred. So uh, we're definitely ahead of the curve there. Um, so that's it, I guess. Uh, thank you, thank you all again. Uh, Yes, yes, table leads. Uh, there are going to be some table leads for the, uh, the uh, mentoring session. We'd ask those people to uh, please meet in the, um, the uh, ballroom next door before the session begins uh, with Helen and uh, Anne, and uh, we can get going on that. And that's it. It's lunchtime. Thanks very much for coming. Yeah.